Let me just uh, run down and get the board here, and I'll be right back. Okay. All set. Harvey, you on? I see Ruvain. Yes, Rabbi. Good. Okay. All right. I will do what I can. Uh, learning sponsor, Sue and Arnie Gerlich, a year of learning in memory of Malka Perman, Perman and Philip Mann. <clears throat> and Yisrael David Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Beryl Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Yosef Meir Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Henya Rivka Pro Rosna Bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch. And memory of family murdered in the Holocaust, Arav Tzvi Hirsch Ben Shlomo Yaakov, Sarah Bat Ephraim, Yisrael David Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Ephraim Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Adia Bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Miriam Bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Pesel Bat Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shalom Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shlomo Yaakov Ben Arav Tzvi Hirsch, Shmuel ben Harav Tzvi Hirsch, Sharon and Fred Liska, their family and many friends, in memory of her dear mom, Harriet Friedman, Edel Bas Yaakov, Leslie and Gail Kaplan, in memory of their parents, Harry and Marjorie Sedell, Irving and Pearl Kaplan, friends of Avi Gidler, Avra Meir ben Shimon, and Martha Gidler, China Bad Yeshaya, children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren of Toby Paris, Saratova Bad Yisrael Dov, in her memory. Friends of Joe Wolf, Yosef Ben Chaim, Charlie Gelfenstein, and Sam Levine. <laughs> In memory of Ramona Levine, Rachel Mata Bat Asher. Friends of Nina Mornester, Nechama Azna Bat Yitzchak Gaharon. Many friends of Stephen Vigdor, Lezecha Nishmat Simcha Melech, Ben Meir Leib Halevi. Friends of Marcy Kurtz. In memory of her great niece, Leah Bracha. Have uh, a day of learning, uh, I'm sorry, month of learning. <clears throat> by Carol and Josh Sanborn, in memory of her father, Yeshua Shir ben Moshe Yehuda Cohen, David and Sharon Karpel, in memory of his father, Zeb Moshe ben Shlomo Yaakov, B. Pizer, in memory of her mother, Razel Bat Shaman. A month of learning also, Rosalind Greenberg Haskell's special birthday, by the children of Grace and Julius Rosenzweig, 
Barbara Rottenberg, Ann Berrison, Judy Friedman, Alan Rosenzweig. A week of learning by, okay, that's over. Okay, um, all right, does anyone else have uh, the current, the newest bulletin? I have it. You do, Ron? Thank you. If I can just see it for a second for those last couple, I will give it right back to you. Thanks very much. Ron? Okay. Um, I did. Okay. Today, a day of learning by Pastor Fund by Gloria and Asher Hertzberg, in memory of her mother, Esther Bashlomo. And uh, also on uh, the fourth was Judah Klein, in memory of his mother in law, Tsipur Shinobat Moshe, Sydney and Sandy Goldschmidt, in memory of his father, Achaver Ephraim ben Achaver Moshe Yehuda. And that is it. May the Shemus have an Aliyah, Crank of Fear, Veldi, Yeshua Shematria, Koban Israel, Good Gaben Shah, and a Rafur Shlema for Samar Yenta Baschana. Thank you. Okay. Looking at today's Gemara. Right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Kaf Gimel Amud Aleph. We've got a problem at the very beginning of the Gemara. Because the Gemara starts off from the... There's very little Rashi and, and a lot of uh, Tosfos. Yeah, that tells you already there's a problem. Uh -uh. Back to the last line. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I want to go back to the end <coughs> of uh, the previous Amud, last line, Nasi Shemait. Okay? The very last line. Okay? Bate Midrashot Kulan Batelim. All of the study halls, I'll use that phrase, in the city, okay, cease their learning. Ubaneha Knesset. That's not what I had. Okay. All right. Ubaneha Knesset, Nichnesin Lebeid Ha Knesset. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you could be right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I didn't see that in the, in the, right? Okay. So what happened? Ubaneha Knesset, Nichnesin Lebeid Ha Knesset. And the people. Okay, enter the synagogues, and what do they do there? The Korean Shiva, and seven people read from the Torah. Now, Vyotzin, and then they leave. Okay, and I saw there were multiple pshatim on that phrase. Okay, according to one, okay, they go in for a regular davening and they read from the Torah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say that in just a second. All right. According to another pshat, okay, they daven and yechidus. And looking at Rashi, the Korean Shiva b'sefer Torah, the ein mitpalelin yachad b'beit Knesset, ele kol echad v'echad mitpalel b'beito. Okay, so in other words, one said they daven only read the Torah if that's the case, and they daven b'yechidus in the synagogue. Others follow Rashi and say no, that's a different pshat. They just read the Torah and then they go home and daven in Yechidus. Okay? So there are different pshatim for that situation. Now, going on then. Rabbi Yoshua ben Karchalme, what does he say? Lo she'elchu v'taylu bashuk. Not that they're going to go out and wandering into the marketplace. Eli Yoshvin v'domin. So he seems to be saying that they stay in the synagogue and they sit and they're silent, okay? That's why I said there are multiple pshatim. Others say no, that they say that they sit at home and they remain silent. Okay, and nobody teaches or says any kind of halachic lesson or agadic lesson, okay, in the house of the morning, okay? Amru alav. Okay, but, says the Gemara continuing, but they said about Rabbi Hananiah ben Gamliel, Shahaya Omer Shmuav Agada Bebet that he nevertheless would go ahead and teach halachic lessons or agada in the house of the mourner. 
the implication may have been that he taught appropriate material in there, okay? In that the dealing with Avelus or things like that. Another possible shot is the document on Shabbos. Oh, that could be, all right? That, it, that uh, if it were Shabbos. Tana Rabbana, the new bright. Avel, Shabbat, Rishona. And here again, we're going to see the, uh, something. All right, what about the first Shabbos? What is the mourner permitted or not permitted to do? Okay. A no yotsemi petach beito. He does not leave his household. Shnia, the second week. Yotsev a no yoshev bimkomo. That second week he may go to the synagogue, but not sit in his normal place. Shlishit, the third week. Yoshev bimkomo ve no midaber. He can sit in his normal place, but doesn't speak. Revi'it, the fourth Shabbos, right? Chaharei hu kichol adam. Then he is like any other person. Okay? The implication being, theoretically, by the fourth Shabbos, if it's for, certainly for another regular, other family member, the shloshi may be over already as well. Some say. Depends, okay, right? It's not possible four weeks to be 30 days. Not possible. What? Okay, Sid. Once again, so you couldn't be fine after the first week, he doesn't speak. Now let's go to the second week, he still doesn't speak. Because no, he look. Said, does, he, does he have the fear to go up to Dom Triona? Because that doesn't apply. Nobody said. I couldn't find anything that gave an answer to that question. Okay. Okay. So, in other words, and, and it may imply, you know, Medaber may imply he doesn't greet anybody and he doesn't answer. Okay. No, no, that's okay. That's the second week. We're going to see the Gemara is going to disagree with another opinion. Okay, okay. Rabbi Yehuda Omer. Okay, says Rabbi Yehuda. Right? Lo hutzrachu lo mar Shabbat Rishona lo yitzay mi petach beito. It wasn't necessary to teach or to say that the first Shabbos, he doesn't leave his home. Because all come into his house to bring condolences. In other words, we said, remember that before that the Yom Tov made a break, but Shabbos was included. So even if he's doing private mourning, the implication would be that people would still come in and extend condolences. Ella rather, Shnia, second Shabbos, a no yotsemi petach beito. He does not leave his home. Shlishit, the third Shabbos, yotsev a no yoshev bimkomo. Hey, he goes out, but he doesn't sit in his regular seat. Revi'it, the fourth Shabbos, yoshev bimkomo ve no medaber. He sits in his regular place, but doesn't speak. Chamishit, the fifth Shabbos, Arehu Kichol Adam. Okay, and that, and that clearly by then, Shloshim was over. Okay, so let's go on. <laughs> Tanu Rabbanan says the new bright. Kol Shloshim Yom Lenisuim. The entire period of the Shloshim, he is not permitted in regards to marriage. Meita Ishto, if it were his wife that died, Asurli say isha acheret ad she avru alav shlosha regalim. Okay, that if his wife died, he is prohibited from marrying another woman until three holidays. I'll put it that way. Have passed. Okay, what happens? Rabbi Yehuda Omer says Rabbi Yehuda regal rishon v'sheni asur. First two holidays are prohibited. Shlishi mutar. By the time of the third holiday, it 
could be permitted for him to marry. Okay. Well, we just read about greeting somebody during this whole scene where he has a new wife. Keep going. We'll see. Okay. Notice, by the way, we also got to keep in mind the calendar. Okay. There's a big difference between saying, let's say, if the person's wife died before Pesach. Okay. And you're talking Pesach, Shavuos. Okay. And then the third one is Sukkot. Okay. But if it's Shavuos, but Okay, so there's a big, there's a difference there. Okay. We're going to see that in, as we continue now, the Gemara wants to clarify. Rabbi Yehuda Meir, regularly shown v'sheni asur shlishi amuta. V'im ein lo banim, and if he does not have children, no progeny yet, mutar li sala alter, he's permitted to marry immediately. Mishum bitu piria verivia. Okay, because they don't want him to put off fulfilling the mitzvah of Peru. Now here it means after Sheba, she, after uh, Sheba is okay. out there. All right. All right. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. We'll see what the Gemara tells us. Don't be so quick to explain it that way. Okay. Ha nechalo banim ktanim. That's acceptable, particularly if he has small children. Mutarli say la alter nepne parnasatan. It's permitted to marry. I'll put in quotes immediately. Okay, we'll see. Nepne parnasatan because of the concern for the sustenance of the small children. Maase shemeta ishto shel Yosef hakohen. We had an incident where the wife of Yosef the Kohen passed away. Go and uh, he says to his wife's sister, go and uh, help sustain the children of your sister. Okay. In other words, implying already implication that he is prepared to. Okay. To arrange a marriage with her. And despite that, he did not have relations with her. <coughs> Sorry, for an extended period of time. What do we mean for extended period of time? After 30 days. Okay, so he married her. Let's say it could be after Shiva or even less than that or even less than that, okay, but did not have relations to wait. Kol shloshim yom legehutz. Now another prohibition. For 30 days, there is no a prohibition to wear ironed garments. Achad kelim chadashim vechad kelim yeshenim. The same, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the same applies to new garments or to old garments. <clears throat> and that includes garments that come immediately out of the laundry press. Okay, because even old garments that come out of the laundry press appear to look like new garments. This is even if they were laundered before right. he died. Okay. Rebbe Omer says, Rebbe. Lo asru ela kelim chadashim bilvad. According to Rebbe, thank, thank you very much, Ron. They said this only in regards to if it was new garments. Rebbe Eliezer, but Rebbe Shimon Omer, what he said, lo asru ela kelim chadashim levanim bilvad. He said it only had to do with new, <coughs> new or white garments. <laughs> I had a friend who uh, he, he always wore a white uh, suit on. on, uh, on uh, yeah. Uh huh. I can. Rabbi, so we're, we're equating the disclosion of a wife to the disclosion of a parent. Mm -hmm. Are they the same on the same? Lotion for everybody is the severity. Lotion for everybody is the same. 
<clears throat> I'm going to answer. <clears throat> I'm going to suggest this one. Okay, there are situations the Gemara is suggesting. Okay, where there can be exceptions under certain circumstances in terms of the observance of the Shloshim. Okay, we see already one exception or at least two exceptions where the Gemara has said, if he has never been married, okay, in order to not to prevent Peru And another greater, I would say greater exception is if there are small children, okay? Right, okay. and then particularly if we're talking about infants, okay? Thinking about that situation. Well, but the, but the implication here is clearly you could have situations. If we think back, right, in reality, you could have a situation where a wife successfully gives birth, and as they're able, but she nevertheless dies shortly after childbirth. Okay. Yeah, that's the point. Somebody has to nurse the baby. Right. Okay, but I'm saying. That's the implication, okay? All right. Abai, okay, so what happens? We're seeing now that the Gemara just said that according to Rabbi Eliezer, but Rabbi Shimon, okay, it is also prohibited to wear white garments, okay? Now, Abai Nafik Begarda de Sarbala. Okay, Abai once went out when he was a mourner in an old white garment, okay? Right, and that seemed to follow the view of Rebbe that said, okay, that only new garments were prohibited. Rava, nafik, bechimutzata, rumita, sumkata, chadati. And Rava once went out with a new red Roman cloak, right? Okay. I don't know about the toga. Kirebi Elizab Rebbe Shimon. And he was following then the statement of Rebbe uh, Eliezer, Rebbe Shimon, saying that you could not wear, okay, white garments. Now, the Gemara clarifies. Right? The Mishnah tells us a new statement, okay? That the Shabbat is included in the days of mourning, but it does not make a break. Okay? What do we mean by that? B'nai Yehuda u B'nai Galilah. There is a difference between the customs in those who lived in Yehuda. Okay, and those who lived in the north in the Galilee. Hani Amre, these say, what? Yesh Avelut B'Shabbat. Okay, that there is Avelut on Shabbat, at least minimally Avelut B'Tzniya. Okay. Vahani Amre, ain Avelut B'Shabbat. And these others, say that there is no observance of Eilut, of Eilut on Shabbat. So it was the Galil that said yes, and the Yehuda the Sama. But that's before you, right? You say it, but that's, remember, you haven't actually brought Shabbos into Baruch. Where does this say who's assuming? It doesn't. Okay. That's why you look at Mafarshi. Okay. All right. So, okay. Notice, by the way, surprisingly, that uh, Rashi does not comment on that either. Okay. Man da Amar Yesh Avelut Shabbat, according to the ones who says there is some level of Avelis and Shabbat. Yeah, the first three words of the Taisvis. The first three words of the Taisvis. What? Yeah. We're talking about... Right, we said the private, the private mourn. 
right? Those who say that there is mourning on Shabbat, namely it's the private mourning, the Katani Oleh, because our text said that it's included in the count of days for mourning. Manda Amar Eina Velud Shabbat. And according to the ones who said that there is no Avelud whatsoever on Shabbat, the Katani Einam of Seket, because our text said it teaches that it does not break it. So the Gemara picks up. If you're of the opinion that there is a certain amount of Avelud Betzina on Shabbat, Hashta Avelud, Nahaga, Afsuke, Membaye. Here, when it says that Avelut is carried out, why do we even have to ask about any stoppage, any break? But therefore, it says here clearly that it is included in that. Okay, those that are teaching this in regarding the end statement, say it doesn't uh, include it. Tana Resha Ola. So teach it that at the beginning that it is included. Ulaman da Amar Yesh Avelut Bashabat. And according to those who say that there is a level of Avelut, but see now we were saying, okay, on Shabbat, Hakatani Enam of Second. But here it teaches that it does not cause a break. Mishum de kave lemitna sefa mafsiki. Since, okay, our language was established that it included at the end that it talked about a break, tana resha enam of second. Therefore, it's also teaching at the beginning that there is no breaking. Lamai, <coughs> okay, that's the point. So, Lema Katanai, you want to say that this is a Machloka Tanaim, Misha Meto Mutalifana, in a situation where the deceased is uh, still, okay, lying before one. In other words, they have not been removed to the burial site. Ochel Babeit Acher, he should eat in another household. Ain Lo Bayit Acher. If he does not have another household to go to, he should go, so to speak, in the same courtyard, but next door to his neighbor and eat in their house. If he does not have a neighbor's house, he must make some sort of a barrier, okay, of tent fachim hot. If he has nothing by which to make the barrier, he should turn his face away, okay, and then eat. Okay, he does not recline and eat. And he does not eat meat. And he does not drink wine. Now here again, could be a couple of different pshatim, all right? One might say that he does not blessing. say a blessing before the food. That would be one explanation, okay? Ve'en mizameh. And another explanation could be, he does not lead birkat hamazon, okay? Or can I say, others are gonna say he does not, not only that, but he can't even join in. Okay, that's a further, and one does not recite blessings that might include him. Okay, so that could be Perkat Hamazon, it could be other. And again, one clearly does not include him in recitation for Perkat Hamazon. You don't say it on his behalf. That would be one explanation. That's why I said there are multiple pshatim here, okay? Upatur mi kriyat shma, and he is exempt from recitation of shma, uminat fila, and from recitation of shmona esrei, uminat filim, 
and from wearing tefillin. Umikom mitzvot ha'amurot b'Torah, and in all other mitzvot as said recited in the Torah, clearly defined. I'm going to say in the Torah. Ubi Shabbat, and as far as Shabbat is concerned, may sav va'ochel. He may recline and eat va'ochel basar and eat meat v'shoteyayin and drink wine. Umevarech, and he may recite a blessing. Again, either before his normal eating or in other situations. Umizamein, and he may initiate Birkat HaMazon. Umivarchin, umizamnin alav. And the others may recite blessings and recite uh, Birkat HaMazon or other blessings, including. V'chayah b'kriyat shma u'betfila u'betfilin. And then he has an obligation regarding Kriyat Shema, Tfila, Ubit Tfilin. Now, wait a <laughs> second. I'm not going to take the word Tfilin out. Okay? There are some who want to suggest that the word Tfilin should be removed. There is another. Koran has. Oh, Eric's not here. Okay? Eric has uses the Koran. Somebody else has Koran? You got it there, Ari? All right, Koran has a large lengthy note on to what degree the Rishoni, okay, have a problem with the phrase tefillin here as to how is it possible to refer to tefillin and Shabbat. Do you see that note? Okay, the notes are on the right-hand side of the page, the upper part of the page. That's in the Koran edition. No, I'm just saying it goes, it's a lengthy note in which it says, okay, in other words, implying maybe it's after, from that Shabbat onwards, okay? So all I'm simply saying is there's an issue there with the girsa on the one hand, okay? Or with interpreting the fact if you keep it in there, right? The previous statement listed filling among the things that you do not do when you're alone. Right, and so therefore so maybe for that reason they could have included it as well. It doesn't literally mean to put filling on in the job. Right. Okay. Right? Ubechol mitzvot ha'amurot v'torah. And all other mitzvot required by the stated in the Torah. So that's why it could be from that Shabbos Henceforward, all right, it could be. Well, we already learned that right. from the second day. Okay. Now, Rabban Gamliel Omer, he says, Mitoch shenit chayav ba'elu, nit chayev b'kulan. Since he's obligated in these, he's obligated in all mitzvot. Now the Gemara is going to throw us a curveball, I think, or I'm suggesting, with a particular mitzvah that has a question about it. Vama Rabbi Yochanan, Tashmish Hamita, Ika Beinaihu. The difference between them is whether you're saying that Tashmish Hamita is also to be considered one of the mitzvahs here that the person has to fulfill on Shabbos. My love, Bahaka Miflage. Isn't that what they seem to be discussing or arguing about? Demar Savar. Yesh Avelut B'Shabbat, that one is of the opinion that there is Avelut B'Tsinia, okay, private Avelut on Shabbat, and therefore that would prohibit Tashmish, okay? Mar Savar ain Avelut B'Shabbat, and the other holds that there is no whatsoever Avelut on Shabbat, which would permit it. Mimai, on, based on this, what do we say? Dilma Ad Khan, Loka Amar Tanakama Hatam. Perhaps up to this point, Tanakama did not say this there. Ela Mishum de Meitomu Talifanam. Only in a situation where the deceased is still before them, hasn't been removed, right? Right? Aval, Hacha, the Ein Meitomu Talifanam. But here, where the decedent is not before them, lo. That's not the case. Va'ad Khan, says the Gemara, lo ka'ama rabban gamriel hatam, 
the akati lo chal avelot delay. But here, okay, perhaps Rabban Gamliel is talking about a situation that avelut hasn't started yet. Okay, he's not chal avelut. Still would be in the situation of an omen. Aval, hacha, the chal avelut ale. But here, where avelut has begun, hachinami here too. Now, I'm just going to go over a tiny bit to the top of Kofdalin. All right. Okay, since it's a long Amud and I don't want us to have to do the entire, okay? Peace. All right. Ba'imine Rabbi Yochanan Mishmuel. And so Rabbi Yochanan asked Shmuel the following. Yesh Avelut B'Shabbat or Ein Avelut B'Shabbat? Is there Avelut, okay? Of some amount. Right? Now remember, why is it important that Rabbi Yochanan be asking Shmuel here? Exactly, because he is the one who has continuously, the Gemara pointed out to us that you be Mekel. Okay, that's the what he should be. Okay, but I'm just going to do a little bit. Okay, Amar Le, he said to him. Ein avelut b'shabbat. So Shmuel's answer is there is no avelut on Shabbat. Look at the, again, look at the little uh, right. By mine Rabbi Yochanan mi Shmuel, mihu. Okay, what does that tell us? Already, right? Already it should clue us in. Nevertheless, mihu. Rabbi Yochanan lo kibel mi Shmuel de ihus virele the varim shebitzina no heg kedeprishit laayim. Okay, right. By the way, I'm okay. I'll get back to that later. Yat ve rabbanan kame de rav papa ve kaamre mishmei de shmuel. Rabbis were sitting before rav papa, and they said in the name of shmuel, avel sheshimei shmitato biyame evlo chayav mita. Okay, death penalty. Amarle. Okay. Amar Amarle Rav Papa Asur Itmar. That's prohibited. Umishme de Rabbi Yochanan Itmar. It is forbidden for Tashmish there. And that is in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. Okay, and that's how we can see that Tosafot clarified it in its comment. And we're going to stop right there. Okay. I'm going to have a good job. Is... On Shabbos. So there was a, a an attitude that that was the case. All right, it wasn't didn't become the accepted halacha. Okay, but that was all right. Okay, everybody, have a good Shabbos. Have a good Shabbos. All right. Find the fill in on Shabbos somewhere.